Today, for the first time, we're hearing from the widow of a climber who died on Mount Hood this summer. It happened on a spot that he'd climbed hundreds of times before. So what went wrong? Quinn Local 6 reporter Amy Frazier brings us his family's quest for answers. The sun was at just the right spot. And so was Mark Cartier in a photograph taken the month before Mount Hood would take his life. And he was just coming down a place uh, aptly known as the Pearly Gates. Climbing was his heart and soul, and this was his heaven. It was just his ability to do something spectacular on his own. When Deb Weekly learned about an emergency on Mount Hood June 14th, it made sense that she hadn't heard from her husband who was climbing that morning. I just assumed that he had gone to help. Um, because that's what he does. Members of Portland Mountain Rescue soon discovered the climber that had fallen a thousand feet near the hog's back was their friend Mark, a husband, a father, and an accomplished climber who understood the risks and took safety precautions with every climb. It was a complete shock, and it still is. It's still unbelievable to me. And from everything we can tell from reports all over the mountain, it was probably a loose rock that uh, knocked him off the mountain. This is video of Deb and their two children, Lauren and Bryce, making a tribute climb with members of Portland Mountain Rescue and the Craig Rats one week after Mark's death. A celebration of life. Really like, emotional and I it felt really good. On this day, 17-year-old Bryce summited Mount Hood for the first time, a climb with and for his father. That was really special that he was able to take his dad's ashes up and release them. And I, Mark was so honored. I just know it. Shockingly, during the tribute climb, the family saw another climber nearly fall to his death in the same area. A man without an ice axe, wearing leather hiking boots and a bicycle helmet to climb Mount Hood. Did that make you angry then in that, in that moment? Or? It made me, it, what made me angry is that um, uh, someone would go up without training or preparation to manage risk when just a week ago someone had died when they were doing everything right. Still, they would let nothing stand in the way of honoring Mark, something they hope others will do by respecting the mountain first and enjoying it second. The accident has forever changed their lives. But um, I'm lucky that uh, I have two children with his eyes that I can look in every day. And that helps a lot. In both rock climbing and mountaineering, Mark found strength, peace, and balance. And that helped make him the man he was to his friends and family. I love him so much and I miss him so much. And, uh, but not a day goes by that I don't feel very happy and blessed for every moment we spent together. Wow, those photos were gorgeous. Absolutely. Uh, you know, Mark's family has set up a fund in his name with Portland Mountain Rescue and with the uh, Smith Roth Group. Mm, so, touched yeah. a lot of lives.